Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for checking in. I'm out here today at Fort Wingman. I really wish I could be up in the woods, but with the pandemic and the quarantine and all that good stuff, a lot of the service roads up there where I film are blocked off, but the show must go on. And it got me thinking a little bit about my archery gear. And if you guys are like me, um, archery and buying bows, it's like potato chips. You can't just have one. Once you get one, then you're looking for the next one, then the next one. And if you're like me, I love vintage bows and I collect a lot of vintage bows. And there's videos on this channel of uh, me collecting them and a buyer beware video and such. I'll leave links in the video description below. But with that, a lot of people ask me what my setup is. What sort of string length? What's the brace height? What's the arrows that I use? and so on. So with that, once you start getting a lot of bows, um, it's a lot easier to have some sort of file system for that. So what I did was I went out and got one of these right in the rain notebooks. Super easy peasy. I list all my bows in there and on the first page in particular, I just itemize all the bows and I have to add a few more in there. I've uh, acquired a few more since then. But uh, I do the brace height on that. That way I always know because if I'm shooting a lot of different bows and I pick one up and it just doesn't feel right, I can quickly look in the book, index it. Okay, then I measure it. Okay, we're, we're good to go. Now um, uh, it's something else or it's just me. So... It's just a way to be more consistent with your archery tackle. From there, on the other pages, I start breaking it down by each individual bow. Now this one happens to be my Samic Discovery. That's my ILF bow. I did a video on that bow. All these, if you go to my playlist uh, of archery gear and tackle, it'll all be in there. But on this, like in particular, the string, it's a D97 Fast Flight Flemish Twist String. So that way I don't have to remember six months, a year from now, what it is. I have my brace height on there. Uh, I have, because it's an ILF bow, I have what I have my limb bolts turned out to, to be able to get the tiller correct on an ILF bow. That is very important, um, and that's why I love that ILF system because you can customize it for your own individual needs and your style of shooting. Also have what my uh, arrow choice is on that. On this one, I've chose the Easton Legacy, the 2216s. I chose a 30-inch aluminum arrow. A lot of people, I only have a 26 and a half inch draw, and people are going, John, you're shooting a 30-inch arrow. Yeah, but I shoot gap and it's able to narrow those gaps. So when I'm shooting at 20, 30, 40 yards, I just don't have huge holdovers and unders. We can go into that at a different time. Uh, also have all my other gear that's on there, uh, what the plunger is, what the rest is, and such. So it's just a great resource for that. Let's go to another one here real quick. And some of these are just real short because there's not a lot of uh, setup required, like say my Bear Montana. It's real super easy peasy, right? I have my string length, 61 inches. It's a D97 Flemish twist, fast flight string. Uh, brace height is seven and a half to eight and a half inches. So that's what I'm saying. You can go through and just itemize all your archery gear that way, if you're out on a shoot, something happens, and uh, you're out of your element, you just look at your book real quick, boom, I'm good to go. Just a nice little tip for y'all. It could save you a lot of heartache when you're out shooting uh, with your friends, when you're doing 3D shoots, competition, or even just fun backyard shoots. So I hope you found this helpful. Hey folks, if you are not a subscriber, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the like button. It lets me know that you like this content and that we'll do more of it. With that, folks, I thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.